The near close front rounded vowel, or near high front rounded vowel, is a type of vowel sound, used in some spoken languages. Acoustically it is a near close front central rounded vowel, the symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is, and the equivalent X Sampa symbol is Y. Handbook of the International Phonetic Association defines as a mid centralized, lowered and centralized close front rounded vowel transcribed Y or Y diaresis, and the current official IPA name of the vowel transcribed with a symbol is near close near front rounded vowel. However, acoustic analysis of cardinal vowels as produced by Daniel Jones and John C. Wells has shown that basically all cardinal front rounded vowels, so not just y, but also o, o, are near front or front central in their articulation, so may be just a lowered cardinal y, y, a vowel intermediate between cardinal y and cardinal o. In many languages that contrast close, near close, and close mid front rounded vowels, there is no appreciable difference in backness between them. In some transcriptions, this vowel is transcribed with Y or O stroke. When that is the case, this article transcribes it with the symbols Y, a lowered Y, and O stroke, a raised O stroke, respectively. In some languages however, is used to transcribe a vowel that is as low as close mid, though it still fits the definition of a lowered and centralized, or just lowered, cardinal Y. It occurs in German Standard German as well as some dialects of English, such as estuary, and it can be transcribed with the symbol, a lowered, in narrow transcription. For the close mid-front rounded vowel that is not usually transcribed with the symbol, or Y, see close mid-front rounded vowel. In most languages this rounded vowel is pronounced with compressed lips, in an exolabial manner. However, in a few cases the lips are protruded, in an endolabial manner. This is the case with Swedish, which contrasts the two types of rounding. Near close front compressed vowel The near close front compressed vowel is typically transcribed in IPA simply as, and that is the convention used in this article. There is no dedicated diacritic for compression in the IPA. However, the compression of the lips can be shown with the letter B as B, simultaneous t, and labial compression, or t, modified with labial compression. The spread lip diacritic may also be used with a rounded vowel letter as an ad hoc symbol, though technically spread means unrounded. The close mid front compressed vowel can be transcribed B, or features. Its vowel height is near close, also known as near high, which means the tongue is not quite so constricted as a close vowel, high vowel. Its vowel backness is front, which means the tongue is positioned as far forward as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Note that rounded front vowels are often centralized, which means that often they are in fact near front. Its roundedness is compressed, which means that the margins of the lips are tense and drawn together in such a way that the inner surfaces are not exposed. Occurrence Note, because front rounded vowels are assumed to have compression, and few descriptions cover the distinction, some of the following may actually have protrusion. Near close front protruded vowel Catford notes that most languages with rounded front and back vowels use distinct types of labialization, protruded back vowels and compressed front vowels. However, a few, such as Scandinavian languages, have protruded front vowels. One of them, Swedish, even contrasts the two types of rounding and front vowels as well as height and duration, as there are no diacritics in the IPA to distinguish protruded and compressed rounding. The old diacritic for labialization will be used here as an ad hoc symbol for protruded front vowels. Another possible transcription is or, a near close front vowel modified by endolabialization, but that could be misread as a diphthong. The close mid front protruded vowel can be transcribed or. For the close mid-front protruded vowel that is not usually transcribed with a symbol, or Y, see close mid-front protruded vowel. Acoustically, this sound is between the more typical compressed near close front vowel and the unrounded near close front vowel. Features 
Its vowel height is near close, also known as near high, which means the tongue is not quite so constricted as a close vowel, high vowel. Its vowel backness is front, which means the tongue is positioned as far forward as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Note that rounded front vowels are often centralized, which means that often they are in fact near front. Its roundedness is protruded, which means that the corners of the lips are drawn together, and the inner surface is exposed. Occurrence Notes References <laughs>